My name's Terry and um, I'm the uh, principal filmmaker for Peak District TV and um, in this video I'm going to do a quick talk of how I went about producing the video featuring Chrome Hill and Park House Hill in the southwestern corner of the Peak District National Park. So the first thing I do is um, get my maps out, be them paper or digital, preferably digital in this case, it's much more convenient and easier and uh, have a look around where I'm going to plan my route basically and seek out vantage points and angles of these distinctive hills of the White Peak and then um, after that was basically look at the weather look at the forecasts kind of make out my own as well because I'm a bit of a geek with the weather and, um, and the opportunity arose only a week or so ago where be three four days of perfect dry but very cold winter weather and so off I went out onto the hills camping and filming well it's a bit cold <laughs> but um, it's worth it so um, all I'm doing now is um, packing my camp away and um, obviously observing the conditions at the minute. Looks like the sun will come up in a, a few minutes so um, it's a matter of uh, watching and waiting now. And there uh, certainly is a lot of waiting involved and walking too, obviously. But um, anyway, you can see here um, a shot I was trying to achieve with um, a dolly track I carry about with me on the hills. Essentially, it's like a, a railway track with a carriage and the camera fixes to that. So I was hoping to get a nice uh, big reveal shot of Chrome Hill from a nearby hill. Um, and then in the same area there's some nice views about so got the camera out and tried to frame some shots and despite the really cold weather I was um, fortunate enough to uh, get some nice light from the sun breaking through the clouds and enhance the details for the shots I was hoping to achieve. So with all the uh, filming done, having spent a couple of days around Chrome and Park House Hill, it's back home to the study to uh, edit the video. Uh, quite often I'll have a couple of hours of footage just for a video that's going to be about four minutes long. Well, such is the great outdoors and enjoying the scenery and all it has to offer and clickety 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 with the uh, video camera. Um, so yeah. Um, this is just a brief glimpse of how I go about making my videos in the grey outdoors. I hope you found it of interest. And if you'd um, like to learn a bit more about what I get up to, feel free to visit the Peak District TV website and have a look at my blog on there. So on that note, it's a goodbye from me and um, speak to you again soon and stay safe when you're out in the great outdoors.